I have to say, in every one of these major coins this morning, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dash, Neo, Cardano, I cannot see a setup that I like to trade. So in all of these uh, majors, what we've done is we've stabilized at pretty good support. And now, in order to turn and go higher, we need to retest that support and make sure that it holds and it really is going to be support before we go higher. So that's the kind of feeling that I've got about everything. Now, I think it's a good chance that we will. And when I look at some of them, I see that we're on really good support levels that we're back testing. Lumen is a really good example of that. Um, and some of them, you know, look a little bit more dodgy, I think. Uh, Ada's on really good support. Very good chance, I think, that in ADA we can hold on and, and keep going. And as you know, in Bitcoin, 9,100 is really good support level. And if we can hold on here, we're still trending. And we're going to have another attack at that 200-day moving average and see what we can do. So nothing I want to push that buy button on right now, but I really am watching and paying attention and making sure that they can hold support. So Ripple, the same thing. You know, this is really good support for Ripple. It looks a bit bare flaggy, though, doesn't it? Underneath all of these averages and just riding the rail. So it's another one where you really want to see that it will hold the support and push higher before you kind of want to put your money on it. And so this is true now for all of the majors. Litecoin. Now, Ethereum Classic is one. I don't count it as a major. I've just got it on this page. Ethereum Classic. We were looking at this one yesterday to come back and find some support on a back test of this 236 fib and this inverted head and shoulders pattern. And that's what I'm seeing here in Ethereum Classic. Really, this is the level. If it's going to do it, it's going to do it here. So I'm watching this one on an hourly for a base and then a move higher. So, so far, we've got a rally sideways consolidation. I think above these highs and above the 50 moving average, I'm going to put my alert here and I'm going to buy some Ethereum Classic. My stock's going to be underneath this bib level because there's still a risk that we retest it. But um, I'm, going to, I'm going to start with a wide stop and then as it moves higher, I'll tighten it up. So that's my plan for Ethereum Classic. Here's, I'll chuck the alert on now. Uh, is ADA a buy? Let's see. You know, <clears throat> ADA and Dash, I would say, are the two that are on. ADA and Dash are on really kind of good support. Uh, Dash is sitting on that 50 daily 50 moving average. Ada's right at that horizontal and the daily 20 moving average. It's another one. When I looked at this low time frame, though, Ada, um, not right now, but it's doing all the right things. See how he, we're here? So we flipped our hourly moving averages. So what we're looking for next in Ada, this is hourly. Okay, so we've made a bottom. We've flipped the moving averages. We're pulling back to test them. And now we want to see if we can turn high. So a few more hours in this one. If we can turn it around, we'll do another leg higher. And we'll go back to this resistance level in ADA. And then we've got a really nice pattern we can look at because we've got an inverted head and shoulders pattern, a small one here and then a bigger one with the wide shoulders there. So so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I like this bullish cross on the hourly. I see first signs of a base, maybe in a few hours. But if you wanted to just buy some now with your stop under 3000 350 maybe that would uh, be a good one so there is some basing going on and there is a few that I think it's just then you know that feeling when they're not quite ready yet and we could retest the lows and you really don't want that kind of psychological stress that's how I feel with this today so